Get ready for the show of the century. Having a hard time keeping up with me. Uh, huh? Dream on. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> the snow kids. You're Rocket, right? Yes, and this is Tia. I'm Nikki Four. <laughs> Welcome to Paradisia. I hope you like it here. Anyway, I can't wait to see you on the playing field. Ouch! She has one powerful handshake. They're rather... rather unusual, aren't they? Yes, very unusual. Phew! It's way too hot. I need a cold drink. A really, really cold drink. This is a mission for microwave. <laughs> not to shake it. I can't believe it. That was the 15th thing that he still forgets. <laughs> oh, no, not her. She never gives up. Sorry, bro. If anyone asks, <coughs> tell them I'm training for the All-Star. But I really think it was in the writing. Huh? Oh, do you have anything to say? Microwave? Uh, sure. The commercial is going great. Thanks. Maybe you haven't heard the big news. You lost your captain. What? What are you talking about? Okay, Otis. Tell me what you got. Uh, okay, Sharky, but you didn't hear it from me. Jock is going to be the captain of Team Paradisia. Remember, if anyone asks... You can trust me, Otis. <laughs> it hurts to lose a friend. How about a quick picture? I can't believe it. You knew and you didn't say anything. There was nothing to say. Jock just said I would soon be playing against him. I didn't believe him. The Snow Kids meant everything to him. Well, apparently that's not the case anymore. That makes three players who have quit the Snow Kids. This is starting to look like a mass exodus. Hmm. Well, it's official. Jock has indeed joined Team Paradisia. What do we do now? Because that is obviously the death blow. I know. See ya. We just gotta pack our bags and head home. Because this is... Because this is... What, Microice? Do you still know how to count or what? Um, yeah, why? Because there are still enough of you here to make a team. Yeah, but it might not be the case for long. Know what I mean? Okay, let's be honest. Who among you has been contacted by other teams? Huh? The Cyclops contacted me, but that doesn't count, does it? I should have known. The door is wide open. If any of you want to leave, now's your chance. Well, anyone? 
then I'll consider you snow kids from here on. Is that clear? Yeah, but Doc was pretty much the key player. What do you mean, key player? Look, you're all key players. You, Micro Ice, Rocket, Mark, Aikito, Fran, Tia, and Luncia. All of you. And I mean all of you. Do you need Jock to hold your hand in order to win? There will always be moments in your careers when you lose a key teammate. But you have to keep going because you're all winners. The Snow Kids! Our Tiger is right. No matter what happens, we'll always be the Snow Kids. Can you continue? Come on! Come on! Don't give up now! No, Arch. Get the rocket out of there, now! There's a problem. Okay, Clamp. Get him out. Bring him over here. Quickly. Rocket. How do you feel? I don't know. I feel empty. The breath was there, and then... nothing. Simbai, what's going on? We really didn't need this. Not now. Well, Dame Simbai, how is he? He's doing much better. But Tia told me that Rocket hasn't been feeling well since we reached Paradisia. It's strange, but according to these results, it seems that Rocket can't control his breath anymore. Simbai, send me all your training stats. I'll analyze them in detail. No, it can't be. Harvey, scramble my call. Stealth mode 5. with Rocket. According to my calculations, it looks like it's linked to the Metaflux. Okay, I'll come over after the match. Oh, Clamp, I can't reach Jock. I know he left. He certainly did leave. He joined Team Paradisia. Phoenix Team? Yeah, Phoenix Team. Watch the Holo TV. You'll probably see Jock at some promo. Okay. The moment you've all been waiting for. The start of the Paradisia Tournament. And what a way to begin, Kelly, with this unprecedented Paradisia All-Star Match. 14 of the greatest players in the galaxy in tip-top shape, ready to do battle. That doesn't happen every day. In tip-top shape? Hmm. I'm going to show you this video that just came in. It was taken at Rocket's last training session.
And right now, on the line, we have the team coach, live from the player's village. Arch, what can you tell us about this? I'd like to know why you have a video of one of our practice sessions, Nork. Oh, uh, well, tell me, is Rocket's participation in the Paradisi All-Star game in doubt? No comment, thanks. Well, thank you, Arch, for your comments. <laughs> we'll be right back after a commercial break, and don't miss our next segment with our guest, Jock, the new captain of Team Paradisia. Okay, we're off air. Back on in 15. <laughs> what the heck was that, Nork? We don't do that kind of gutter journalism. Excuse me, but when I come across a scoop like that, I don't turn it down. We'll talk about this later. We're live in five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. First of all, thank you, Jock, for being with us today. The pleasure is all mine, Kelly. According to our survey, 71% of the people interviewed think you made a bad decision by joining this totally unknown and unproven team. Well, 71% of the people will be surprised. Why did you decide to quit your team? The Snow Kids are the current GFC champions. Kelly, if you want to improve, whether you're a star player, a journalist, or whatever, you need challenges. For me, there was no more challenge being a snow kid. It's as simple as that. What a blowhard. It's revolting. Lord Phoenix and his team offered me a chance to be part of an ambitious project. It's exactly what I needed at this point in my career. Last question. Are Jock and Team Paradisia unbeatable? If that's what you think, I won't argue with you. That's not a good idea, Rocket. But, Uncle, I feel great. Dame Simbai says that I'm fine. I can play in the Paradiso All-Star game, no problem. Let him play. I'd really prefer not to take the risk here, given the current situation. Arch, let him play. Physically, he's okay. But at the slightest sign of weakness, you leave the field. Is that clear, Rocket? Don't worry, I'll be careful. Thanks. You mind telling me what you're up to, Artegor? What if something happens to him? I just want to make sure that Rocket is in good shape for the tournament. This exhibition match couldn't have come at a better time. Dear Hollow viewers, welcome to this one-of-a-kind event that we are so pleased to bring you. Yes, indeed. Get ready for a great show. But wait, we've just got word that Lord Phoenix is entering the VIP stand. Let's see what he has to say. My friends, today, overjoyed to begin a new chapter in the history of galactic football. I, Lord Phoenix, keep my promises, so welcome to the tournament of the future, here and now on Paradisia. That's it. The Paradisia tournament is underway. This is a dream match indeed. I have to tell you, Kelly, that I had a hard time making up my mind, but I finally bet on Jock's team to win. It's a huge dilemma for Snow Kids fans too, Barry. Five of their players on the field, but not on the same team. It's going to be dicey. Wow! What a way to begin! I have a feeling we're going to see some serious touring here.
Akamook will need to come this way to reach his dressing room. The exclusive photos are all mine. Can you see? They're looking for a new robot chauffeur at Phoenix Corp. Poor Otis got contacted after speaking to that rotten hush sharky. Unregistered garbage can cluttering the hall. Tolerate no clutter. Tolerate no clutter. Tolerate no clutter? now, but he's still very weak. He needs rest. And this time, real rest, gentlemen. I shouldn't have listened to you, Artegor. He would have played anyway. At least now we know. Rocket has a real problem. Well, what do you think? That's strange. It's like his own flux is the parasite. That would mean it's... Mm, the resonance. That's it, Clem. That's the only phenomenon that could cause this. But for there to be the resonance, there has to be someone or something who has some, even an infinitesimal bit of Rocket's flux here on Paradisia. But who could have the same flux as Rocket? It's impossible. Fluxes are all unique. All fluxes but one. The multi-flux. But the multi-flux was destroyed with Blaylock. There's only one possibility, Clem. Someone stood in for Blaylock and took the multi-flux. It's the only explanation, and that someone is here, on Paradisia. As you can see, a large quantity of flux was harnessed during the match. We have a 76% rate of flux recycling and condensation, and all is very stable. Good, good. Continue to store it as planned, and don't start to inject it into Paradisia's core until I give you the order. That is not what we agreed upon. What happens here is out of your jurisdiction. You forget that I can go where I please on Paradisia. You should have injected the multiflux right away. All in good time. Do you have a problem with that? <sighs> it would be a shame if everyone were to learn who you really are. News like that could create a lot of disorder and ruin the tournament. Lord Phoenix. Who I am? I'm glad you understand. Back to your posts. I don't know how to explain it, but he's fully recovered. But we still don't know what made him sick. The resonance. The resonance? What are you talking about, Clamp? The resonance is a complicated scientific phenomenon. To put it simply, it's like feedback. When a sound is emitted and mingles with its own echo, it starts to whistle. Unbearably. But what could echo off of my own flux? The multi-flux rocket. It was created while you were playing Netherball. Netherball? If I hadn't played, they wouldn't have my flux. All of this is my fault. It's gonna be okay, Rocket. It's gonna be okay. What you tell us is very disturbing, Dame Simbai. The multi-flux can produce considerable damage. We have to act quickly. Clamp is continuing his research, and we can count on Sonny and his men. If there is multi-flux on Paradisia, we will find it. Let's hope so. 
before the situation gets completely out of control. 